trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast. I'd like to take some time to discuss another business story that helps provide perspective surrounding taking opportunity as well as you never know how things are going to turn out or where your path's going to end. And I discussed Ray Kroc with McDonald's previously, and with him he was a middle-aged salesman who came across these McDonald's brothers through the multi-mixer and then from there bought them out and turned McDonald's into what it is today. And the story I want to discuss now is the story of the Shelby Cobra, the car. So the Shelby Cobra is one of the most pivotal supercars built by America. Most supercars and sports cars are built by Italians, Germans, and other nations, and and there's not many that have ever been built and created by Americans. Well, these cars, while they are street legal, are also developed by these companies for fancy races like F1 and Le Mans and other things of that nature. And initially, the creator of Shelby Cobra had interest in creating a car that could be used in these races. Well, in order to create that car, he had to develop a hundred of them so he could pass the inspections and regulations in order to have his car in the races. He was unable to build the hundred in time, and this prevented him from going in these races and having these cars be a part of the races. So now he was left with 67 cars and no money and no idea on what to do. Well, he came into contact with somebody in the car business who worked at Ford, and they had suggested that he work to make these cars street legal and then sell them. This sparked a new idea and also a new form of entrepreneurship for him to pursue. He worked to create these cars in a way where they could be legalized for the streets, and when he did, he sold them. They were sold at a much higher price than the average car and are now worth in the millions of dollars, with one recently selling for $2 million I saw on television. He continued to go beyond just these 37 that he made the one year and for another handful of years developed cars that were street legal and could be sold as luxury sports cars. This was initially done following a passion and a pursuit to get the Shelby Cobra in these races, and that was a failure. Rather than giving up and feeling hopeless or upset about the outcome, he continued to be open to opportunity. At the end of the day, this is another example of the fact that it takes time and opportunity for any pursuit to culminate into a level of success or significance. Nothing is an overnight success while a lot of cases may seem to be that way. If you follow your passions with the understanding that putting in the time and effort and hard work to get to where you want and that the opportunity that you're initially striving for may not be the the accomplishment that ends up culminating in the end. Regardless, success and significance can be found surrounding your pursuits and your passions. You just have to have the awareness and the motivation to carry it out. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it, check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at More You Know Pod. Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag The More You Know and New Podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book, The More You Know, coming this fall. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we propel with podcasting through the more you know. I'm just trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast.